This video is going to show you how you can change the theme of GIMP. That is the way in which it looks when you're using it. When you first open GIMP, it will have this dark theme that you can see in front of you. I'm going to create a new image by coming to File, clicking on New, and clicking here to say OK. And you can see we now have a canvas here. That's all white, and of course, I can now start building on this. What I want to do now is to come across here to click on the paintbrush tool. And if you look now, you can see down here there's lots of options for that brush. But just have a look at the theme that you're viewing here. This is the dark theme that comes when you first install GIMP, and when you first use it, this is the theme you're going to be given. The theme you're looking at here is described as the dark theme. There are three other themes possible with GIMP. The grey, the light and the system theme. To set different themes, come here to the edit menu, click on it and come down here to where it says preferences. Click on that and what will appear is a dialog box as you can see here. If you're going to change the theme of GIMP, then you're altering the interface to the user. And you can see here, we have a section called Interface. And the one we're interested in is this here, which says Theme. To observe the themes that GIMP offers, come here and click on Theme, and you will see a list will appear here. And you can see that this says Theme, and here we can see that we have dark, grey, light and system as the themes. Now I'm going to change the theme to the grey theme. So you come here and you click on this entry in the list. And then you come down here to click OK. And wait and you will see GIMP changes the theme. And you now can see that you have a grey theme. The following steps are going to change the theme of GIMP to light. So you come here to the edit, you come down here again to preferences, click on that and the preferences dialog will appear. Go here again and click on theme and you will get the list. Click on light here and then come and click on OK. And you will see that the theme of GIMP changes to a light theme. I'm now going to go back to edit, come down here and click on preferences. Then you will be presented with the preferences. Click on theme, come here and click on the system theme, come down here, click OK, and you'll see that the theme of GIMP changes to the system. Now this reflects how you currently have your window system set up. Now you have a choice here. You can go for the dark, the grey, the light or the system theme. Now I'll show you each of the themes in turn, starting here with the dark theme, then the grey theme, then the light theme, then the system theme. I quite like this system theme, but I tend now to work in the dark theme. So I'm going to change back to the dark theme, which means coming here to the edit menu, clicking on it, you'll get this drop down. Going back to preferences, the preferences dialog box appears. You click on here for theme. You can see you've got the list. Now, what I'm going to do here, which is different to what I've done before, I'm going to double click on the dark theme. And when I do that, I don't have to click the OK. I just wait for GIMP to change the preferences to the dark theme. And there you can see it's changed the preferences and then I'll click on OK. So this is the one I prefer to work in, but not as it's currently set up. If you look here, you can see that we have the new icons that come with the new version of GIMP. Now, I prefer it when these icons are in colour. So there is another theme that we can alter, the icon theme. 
and I'll show you that in the next video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.